Did you see Mo? Oh my god! Oh. Do anything weird if I sleep in the room tonight? I just moved. I just called it the rocking chair. Moving. I'm really heavy right now because I'm terrified. Okay. I'm Mo Sargent. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns hide to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a really cool paranormal investigation for you guys inside of this hotel all night long. For those of you that know this place and know how haunted this place really is, for those of you that don't, we'll give you guys some history once we're inside and once we're investigating this hotel. There are about 10 bedrooms inside of this place, each one very unique. I haven't actually been inside of them just yet. We're going to go inside them together and we're going to see what they're all about. A lot of these rooms, a lot of the areas inside of the hotel actually experience different types of levels of paranormal. Normal. So I'm very excited to show you guys what we find inside of this place. All right, what do you guys say we go inside and check this place out and begin the investigation? So, sergeants, this is the chill spot. This is where people basically hang out. They eat. They, you know, they just relax when they're not in their rooms. Uh, after all, this is a functioning business. It is a hotel. It is mega haunted. Check it out, though, guys. Look at all these creepy dolls that they got in here, man. Terrible. What the hell? I think I just got a voice in the ghost box over there. So the owner, she left us a ghost box over here to use tonight. And uh, anyone with me right now? Anything that wants to communicate with me, talk to me on the ghost box. So through here, there is this really scary room where the owner, Angelo and I, we were inside of here just chatting away. Look at this guys, there's so many bedrooms. So we were sitting here earlier just talking, we weren't even filming, and I seen a shadow run across the wall there. It was really creepy. None of us were running, we were all just sitting here chatting, talking, and it looked like a shadow figure just went across the wall. It actually startled me right in front of the owner, which is really cool. So a lot of the paranormal investigators that come through here, they do investigate this room a lot because this room does have things that happen in it. So I want you guys to keep your eyes wide open. There are going to be some lights on. We might actually turn lights off as well throughout the night. We're going to be here all night. We're sleeping here. Okay. So the camera is going to be rolling all night long. Audio equipment is going to be rolling all night long. Things are going to happen a hundred percent. So I'm excited to see what we're going to catch on camera today. Are there any spirits in this room with me right now? Talk to me. Make a light turn off and on. Want to move something in here? I am in here alone right now. So spooky. Just got a strange female's voice on that box. I'm going to take you guys upstairs on this side here. There's a lot of bedrooms. I'm going to go upstairs and watch your head over here. This place is terrifying. Um, we might sleep up here. I, I don't know if I want to, to be honest. This is one of the scariest looking bedrooms I've seen. Check this place out. I came up here earlier and I started to feel lightheaded and have a headache. And the second I came back up here right now, you know, I'm experiencing the same thing. So there's three bedrooms here. Let me show you guys the bedrooms. We got one room over here, as you guys can see. There's like a, a rocking chair right there. Every time I come up here, I feel weird. I feel like I'm out of breath. It's weird in here, guys. Look at this. Got some dolls up there. I don't know if I would want to sleep in this room, man. A room full of dolls is just terrifying. And then we got another room over here. Three bedrooms on this side. I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell a house over here, but I'm really not. Are there any spirits in here? Room number eight. Calling out to you. 
You want to make that dress move? Fine, don't make it move. I'm sitting here by the ghost box. <clears throat> My name is Mo Sargi. Talk to me, who's with me right now? What's your name? So this is one of those boxes where I can't actually speak into, but we've just been getting replies. I mean, obviously the spiritual world hears us, right? That's the idea. Do you have a name? Paul. Is that what you said? You said Paul? We got Angelo over here. What's up, Angelo? And we got Kelly, the owner, guys. She's taking me up to the attic right now. I'll go up and see what's in the attic. Wow. Oh, it just becomes like a, another area. Oh, wow. So guys, check it out. I'm up here in the attic right now. Kind of all by myself, just wandering around. All right, so I'm upstairs in the attic right now. Look at this. So this is like the abandoned part of the building. Hasn't been finished yet. I'm sure there's lots of things that go down up in this place. That's like we just went into an abandoned building. So cool. Holy shit, there's blood on the door. Look behind you. Blood on the door. Look at that. Is that, is it blood or coffee? I'm pretty sure it's blood. Looks like blood, dry blood, yeah? I think it came from the, up there. Oh, that's weird. Very strange. So this place is usually off limits, but and she's allowing us to come up here, which is really awesome of her. Thank you, Kelly. Oh my God. I just feel like I walked into like a, an abandoned house. How cool is this, you guys? Look at all these toys in here. So she said the areas that are taped off don't go into them because they won't be safe. It might fall through the floor or something. So I'm not gonna go inside of these areas, but I'm gonna show you from here. Check it out. Wow. Possibly. And you have a room over here that has chairs for some reason. Maybe we'll sit up here and do a seance later on throughout the night. And there's another like little secret room over here. Amazing. Let's uh, go down this way. There's another hallway over here I didn't see. Whoa. Look at this weird imprint in the ground. It's interesting. There's a soccer ball over here. Does anything want to make that soccer ball move for me? What the hell was that? Sound like something just stepped over here. Could have been me. But I wasn't moving. It sounded like something stepped on the ground over there. There's a couple more rooms here. At the intro I said there's 10 bedrooms in this house. There's actually much more. But the operational ones, there's only 10 operational rooms. What the hell is that? Is that a Ouija board in the ground? Whoa. Look at this. There's a Ouija board actually painted into the ground into the actual wood. And it's like this little tiny room kind of looks all abandoned and shit, but it, it's obviously not abandoned. I mean, this part of the house or the building is abandoned. And it actually doesn't even have power up here. All right, Sergeant's jumping into the night. Jasko is here now. What's up, guys? Um, he's, he's telling us that there's a morgue in here. Yeah, so I actually have never been to the morgue either. I've been here twice so far. And as I was signing the waiver, you know, signing my life away just in case I'm a liability and anything happens here. Uh, she was also telling me that people have gotten scratched, dragged down the stairs and all the sorts. So dragged down the stairs? So from the top of the stairs, dragged down. This lady Jeez. had to go to the hospital. Wow. So that's, that happened. Well, oh, that's cool. And then, I mean, not for her, but like, it's cool that that happened. You know, like, hopefully that happens to one of us. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I, I, I opted out of that. She, and we were looking and there was like, they're selling dirt from the morgue. It's like a piece that you could bring with you because like it contains attachments to it. Okay. Some people like collect those kind of things. And I was like, wait, you guys have a morgue? And she's like, yes, yeah, the basement. I was like, can we go? And she's like, absolutely. 
but later in the night she says like that's where a lot obviously okay. a lot of activity that's cool goes on. so we it, there's a chance we might sleep in the morgue tonight joking that's not gonna I'll, happen I'll that, watch the door. that's not gonna happen <laughs> so apparently apparently there is a chapel in here as well which I don't know about there's still a lot that I haven't showed you guys there's a lot that we haven't explored yet so what do you guys say we go upstairs explore all the bedrooms see how they all look and maybe there's some paranormal happening as we're exploring it I'm about to take you guys upstairs to all the creepy bedrooms these bedrooms have had lots of recordings of hauntings up in them and uh, I'm gonna go through alone investigate them by myself for a little bit and then have some of the guys join me later on tonight all right, here we go. Kind of nervous because I am coming up here alone. I have my K2 meter. Oh, I just got a tick on it. It just ticked a little bit. Whoa. Look at this place, guys. Terrifying. There's a ton of bedrooms here. I'm going to start off with Rose's room over here. Number three. Keep in mind, these rooms have all had different hauntings. Different things happen in them. Oh, it smells really good in here. Wow. I might sleep in here today. This is cool. Oh, and it's got its own bathroom. I'm definitely sleeping in here. Wow. This is the only bedroom that has its own bathroom. Super cool. So, someone named Rose lived in this room at one point in time. Rose, are you here? It smells really nice in here for some reason. It smells like perfume. Rose, are you with me? So I've got a spirit box here that actually communicates words into a speaks text. Are there any spirits in this room with me? I don't know what that sound is. Talk to me. What the hell was that? It just said probably. I don't know if you guys can see that. It said probably up here. What do you mean by probably? Can I get a name? What's your name? I'm here to communicate with you. Are you going to do anything weird if I sleep in this room tonight? Alright, so I haven't had anything come through in Rose's room over here. Check out how awesome this place looks. Let's go to the next room now. Over here we have Oscar Grover's room. Don't know what this one's all about, but uh... Smells nice in here, wow. Oh, okay, I just did that. Whew, scared the crap out of me. So this room here, um, interesting room. It's not as big as Rose's room. I wonder if this was his picture over here. Are you in here with me? Anything, anyone? I'm gonna turn this. Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Turns off the lights. So another room as well. Really cool and creepy. I love the wallpaper. There's monkeys in it too. Interesting. Very, very interesting room. For some reason, this room over here is called the silent room. Not sure why. Oh, okay. It's because it's themed like a library, so you gotta be silent in a library, right guys? Such a creepy place to be, man. Look at this. So cool. Oh, the beds are comfortable, that's for sure. Now, 
not getting anything on the K2 meter. So what I've been doing um, is spending at least five to 10 minutes in each room. If I get something, I get something. If I don't, I don't. But uh, if I do, obviously I document it. Let's see what's through here. All right, just an old closet. Got a really old case over here. Let's go down this creepy hallway over here. Should be another bedroom. This one's Mar Margar Marguerite? Marguerite, I think. I don't know why I'm getting some weird feelings from this one. Oh, this one's weird. I don't know why coming in this gave me a very weird chill. Look at these checkered floors. Wow. Look at this bed. The hell just knocked. What? Did. Did. Bye, guys. Good night. I'm going to bed. Have fun. Wait, wait, you guys are all been down there? Who knocked on the door? I was in that room. Someone just knocked, double knocked on there. Really? And you weren't up here? I, I just walked up the stairs. Yeah, I just seen. Something literally just gave me two knocks. <laughs> in the Margar Marguerite room is what it's oh, called? Yes, that's Mar is it Marguerite or Marguerite? Marguerite. Oh, Marguerite. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's terrifying up here. <laughs> Alone? <laughs> oh yeah, by myself? I don't know about that, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I was in here and I told you guys when I walked in here, I, I felt a presence. And I went outside to see who knocked on the door. What is this? This goes into the next room. I'm gonna stand over here for a, a moment and see if I can get anything on camera. Marguerite, are you in here? Was that you that knocked on the door? So the owner, uh, Kelly, she sleeps here. She lives here with her husband. So there's only one room that we can't go into. While we're investigating here all night long, they're gonna be sleeping in that room. So it's really cool how they're doing things here. Big shout out to them. So, so hospitable and so friendly, guys. Um, okay, I'm in the scary room. I think I, I don't wanna sleep in here. I don't know, I'm getting the strangest vibes from this room. Do you guys want me to film myself sleeping? night vision in the room that I decide to sleep in. Like, there's a lot of rooms, a lot of creepy ones. If you want me to sleep in them, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to film myself sleeping in them, let me know in the comments below. I'll make another video for you guys. Oh, we got this one called Esther. Oof, and this one's, pri uh, we can't go into it, I think. It says private on there, so we're not gonna be able to go into that one. There are rooms upstairs. It looks like it's abandoned. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. Let's go into this one here, the Roosevelt. Ooh, it's dark in here. It's creepy. All right. Wow, this room is really spooky looking. Got the fan, I got my K2 in hand over here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm breathing heavy in this room. Like actually, Legitimately breathing heavy. I don't know why. It's just this room when I walked in. I'm starting to feel some very strange vibes. That fan is kind of annoying, but it's okay. All right, let's ask the K2 meter. Is there anything in here with me right now? Did that just move? just started moving. What the f Are you kidding me? Whatever did that, can you do it again? I'm breathing really heavy right now because I'm terrified. 
but I'm not trying to be loud because the owners are sleeping in the room next door. <sighs> that was terrifying. That was actually terrifying. I just caught the, the rocking chair moving. Actually, who's down there? I mean, impossible for anyone to be down there. Okay, <laughs> this is terrifying. Like, actually terrifying. Can you do it again? Whatever caused that to happen? Please do it again. I'm not getting anything on the K2 meter. Can you make something happen? Can you make something move? I gotta go tell the guys. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Yo, 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 yo. You guys will not believe what the f I just caught on camera. I just caught the rocking chair. It's, it was not moving. I'm filming it. I'm doing a K2 thing. It starts moving on its own. I'm not even joking. It happened twice. Yes. Drop your beers. I know you're all just drinking, having fun. Come up with, with me to the room. I'm terrified. I'm the only one drinking, having fun. Okay, no one else? Okay, good. Bring your half strong asses here. Oh, man. Guys, this is crazy. I actually got, I, I got to show them the, the, the camera clip of this. I got to show them. One sec, guys. I just showed them the clip. That was crazy. That was a really good piece of paranormal evidence. Hey, uh, who's got dowsing rods? And spirit box. Where's the spirit box? We should actually bring that too. <laughs> I'm stressed. That put a lot of stress on me. <laughs> like actually. So what happened? The chair is right. Huh? Check the room and everything. Yeah, like I'm walking in here, right? I'm walking in here, and I'm just, you know, I'm just asking, you know, whatever spirits are in this place. I don't think that door opens. It's, I think it's locked. I've tried to open it. Yeah, I looked under the bed too, trust me. You sure <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so... It feels great, man. I know, right? It's hard what, to breathe in here. Isn't it? Really? You just said it's hard to breathe in here. The second I walked in here, I couldn't breathe properly for some reason. Oh, it's weird in here. Yeah. Okay, so we got dowsing rods, we got a spirit box. <clears throat> Let's do this, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be really happy if that thing does it. It did it twice. It did it twice. The second time it was very faint, but I'm pretty sure I caught it. Prepare for your eardrums to explode. Who wants to try this? You want to try this? Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Hey spirit, whomever it was that made the rocking chair rock like that, can you do it again? Or can you cross the path of... Can you communicate with us on the spirit box? Man, if that thing starts moving again, boys, I'm gonna be really happy. Chair? The chair, yeah, that's what was. Huh? Who wants to sit in it? I don't want to sit in it. That was weird. Ask it. Do you want me to sit in the chair? Uh -huh. Did it just cross? It did. Does that mean yes? I when it crosses so. like that? I think so. I, I usually get to tell it what to do, right? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, it did something. It Let's do that again. Let me ask if it wants me to sit in the chair. Do you want me to sit in the chair? If you want me to sit in the rocking chair, cross the path. <gasps> oh, oh, what the f it just crossed. I see I'm like literally not moving. Right? Yeah, I know you're not moving. Yeah, zoom in on it. No, I am. I'm literally zoomed in all the way. Oh my god, okay. So let's see here. I'm gonna sit in the chair. Oh, there's not a single response yeah. that he's doing. We're not getting yeah, like the spirit we've been filming here all night long. We've been getting a lot of responses in the spirit box. Dude, it feels so weird to sit in the It's a weird feeling. I feel nauseating. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like a hard breathing. I feel nauseated. Like I feel like I feel nauseous. All of a sudden. Is anybody in here with us right now? Talk to us. Why did you want me to sit in the chair? Anything through there. No. I'm gonna put this here. I'm not gonna move this thing because I don't want it to move. So you were saying the president actually slept in here? Yeah. 
two presidents actually stay at the hotel with uh, Thomas Edison and Eleanor Roosevelt. Are you serious? Like actual Roosevelt yeah. slept in here? That's crazy. But well, we're not getting anything on the K2. Who's with us? Guys? Guys? That's crazy. I told you guys. I actually, I literally told you guys. <laughs> There's nothing down here. There's nothing. I'm losing my mind. Uh, I'm losing my mind over here. Yeah, How? I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Right? Who's sleeping in this room tonight? Uh, I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm sleeping in Rose's room tonight. Rose's seemed like it was like the safest one to be on. Rose, are you here? Yeah. I heard a female's voice, right? Come on, give us something, Rose. Can you do that again? Can you make that happen again? Can you make the rocking chair? Come on, give us something. Guys, why'd you turn off the light? Huh? Why'd you turn off the light? Where's the light? Turn up, turn on the light. Where are you guys? Who turned it off? You guys didn't turn it off? Seriously? I'm good with this room. I'm done. Dude, the spirit box just turned off on its own. Seriously? I'm done. Jed was standing over by the mirror. Well, I could see him in the dark. He was standing really, literally right by there. I thought there was like a switch over there or something. So something just turned off our damn lights in here. Yeah, what chill. the hell? Well, All right, I'm done yeah, with this room. <laughs> I am done with this room. We decided to come into the room with all the beds. Angel's sitting there, Jasko's sitting there. Chris is over here. Uh, we, we have something going on right now. The sensor, this is, this is like a sensor tool that I have. Oh, oh, that was you, okay. So this should not be going off like that. Something is affecting it. What is that? I actually don't know what that is. It just, if if there's something here, like you ask questions, you know what I mean? It's a flux capacitor. Exactly, a flux it's capacitor. Flux. Yeah. It measures motion, but it also answers yes and no. So red for no and green for yes. Oh, that's cool. But I don't know why it's doing that right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it here on the ground, right there. As you I don't care what's going on with it. Something's affecting it. Whatever's doing that, can you stop? It's like really in that red side. I think it's broken, boys. Uh, let me calibrate it. Put it on the ground. We have this really crazy old spirit box. Scanning right now. Who's with us right now? Can you talk to me? So that thing's working there, there now? No, it's like st it's been calibrating for like a minute and a half for some reason. Well, no, when it's blue, that means it's ready. Oh, really? That means it's good now. Oh. So what was affecting it earlier? I don't know. Something was affecting it big time. It was all crazy. Yeah, it was Spirits, we want to communicate with you. Who's here? Give us a name. Talk to us. We want to know who was moving the rocking chair. It's like a voice is trying to get out. Rose? Yeah, oh, we're getting some voices. Yeah. Who's here? It wasn't me. Who was it? Who moved the rocking chair? Oh, 
What was that? Stop now. Stop now. I'm gonna be sleeping here tonight. What are your thoughts on that? Are you gonna bother me while I sleep? Are you in this room with us? How many spirits are in here with us right now? Five. Five? Five. Oh, it just said yeah. Wait, five beds. What? Oh, on the silver box over there? It said five and there's five beds in here. One, two, three, four, five. Are you planning on sleeping in these beds tonight? Do you plan to sleep in the beds tonight? Oh, what is going on? Yeah, that's a motion uh, device. Are you are you making the box go off? Can you make this one go off? Green for yes. This is wild. We're getting something this really good right now. Insane. The, the fact that we're in the Shanley right now, all five of four of us are alone, and we're doing this. This is crazy. It is going off. Can you make it go to orange? If it gets, if anything gets closer to it, it's gonna go orange, right? Yellow and then red. Red. Oh, what the f that just went off too. You heard that, right? Yeah. That, oh, Mo? Did you, did you say Mo? Oh my God. Whoa. That, that was a yes, right? How do you know my name? I'm really hoping that box will illuminate again. Can you illuminate the box for me again? Stand in front of that tin can. What's, oh, yeah, that's starting to go off right now. Can you make the other box go off? This is so cool, you guys. All right, well, thank you for your time. Angel and I are gonna be sleeping in this room tonight. With that being said, are you gonna let us have a peaceful sleep? Are you, are you gonna allow the... Oh, it just said no, that was red. That went to red, it said no, you're not gonna have a peaceful sleep, dude. Why aren't you gonna allow them to have a peaceful sleep? Is the demon still out of the box, or is he back in the box? In there. In there. He said in there. In there. He's still in the box. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this first episode. We are gonna be here all night long, so I'm trying to stretch this out as much as possible to give you guys lots of videos, back-to-back -back entertainment from the Shanley. Shout out to everybody here. Um, big thank you for Jasco for basically inviting me to come here. You're welcome. Oh, 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 oh hey. Oh, sorry, that was guys, the ghosts don't like that. Ghosts, do you guys like that? <laughs> I don't think they do. Is this the side of the house that was supposed to be a brothel? No, it is. So a brothel upstairs. Upstairs is a brothel. This was the bowling alley. No, this was the gentleman's room. The gentleman's room where they live. Because upstairs. Hold on, hold on. It's upstairs. No one's there. That was a loud jump up there. Seriously. We're going to start documenting upstairs. That's where the brothel was. Smash the like button if you guys are excited for that episode. Like I said, a lot of episodes are coming out of this place. Even a night vision challenge inside of the Shanley. We have free roam. The owners are actually here too. So they've been helping us a lot with information and you know stories about all the hauntings that happen here. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to be you do. Stay positive and just live a little. I'll see you guys on the next one. Positive comments down below so I can heart them and like them. I'll see you guys on the next one. Any other questions anyone wants to ask?